Hey, future innovators. I am here in Chicago, but a few minutes ago, I was at the pyramids in Egypt. I swam with the sharks in South Africa, and I was in Paris looking at the Eiffel Tower, all thanks to virtual reality or VR. VR technology is an artificial computer generated environment that makes the user feel like they're somewhere else. Sometimes this environment can be made with real pictures and videos, and other times, the environment is completely artificial. The VR mask has three components that work together to make the user feel like they're in that environment. The first is these special lenses. These lenses are called biconvex lenses and are designed to make it easier for the user to focus on the phone screen. This makes the screen seem farther away, even though it's very close to your eyes. Without these lenses, everything would look blurry. The second component is stereoscopy. Stereoscopy is a technique in which your eyes view identical pictures from slightly different angles through the viewer. Your brain puts the pictures together and you see it as a three-dimensional image. Finally, your phone uses a gyroscope sensor to sense when the phone tilts from your movements. In virtual reality, as you move, so does the picture or video, making you feel like you're really interacting with the environment. Virtual reality has become very popular over the years. It's used to play video games, watch movies, or go places you've never been. You'll have all of those experiences today, but how's virtual reality made? Let's talk to someone who knows. I'm here with June Lee. He is a virtual reality specialist at Via Technic in Chicago. So how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. So how did you get into virtual reality? What piqued your interest? Well, my background is in architecture, okay. and my first job was for an architecture firm uh, where we used virtual reality to design interior spaces. Uh, I then moved on to work for a car company, which just happens to also use VR to design cars. It's a less cost-efficient way to uh, model and to visualize products before they're manufactured. Uh, so that piqued my interest in VR and uh, I got a job here at Via Technic. So you just kind of got thrown into it by accident? Almost, yeah. Okay. I think that most people actually think of video games when they think of virtual reality, even though you use yours to kind of show off your products. Other than that, like what are some other uses? Uh, there are actually a lot of uses. Um, so for example, Boeing, they use VR as a training tool for their electricians to put together parts uh, for their airplanes. Uh, you overlay this information on top of what they see, uh, and it's kind of like a tutorial display system that they've used. How does one create a virtual image or virtual reality? Uh, there's a couple of methods. Uh, so one is the digital world. It's more a simulated environment that you create in the computer uh, that you would have to model and texture uh, realistic, photorealistic uh, looking uh, digital models and you put the user inside of it. The other way is to take, take photos of it uh, and that's done with a 360 camera. Um, and you take photos in different angles and you have a computer system that will that'll stitch it together to create almost like a globe environment. Okay. What are some practical uses for virtual reality other than entertainment? Currently, uh, VR is being used by medical fields uh, to train surgeons before a real surgery to replicate the process so that when they actually do the surgery, they already understand uh, what to do and um, they're more comfortable with what they're seeing and they're more comfortable with using the equipments. And also, similarly for um, training pilots, uh, that are more immersed in the actual flight experience before stepping onto their first plane. Uh, that helps them to get comfortable and really get used to what they're doing. So what can students do now to prepare themselves for a possible career in VR? Uh, there are actually a lot of free softwares out there, uh, accessible to uh, anybody to just go into and learn the basics of VR and to be in an environment where they can create simple VR by themselves. I think that's a really good platform for younger uh, generation to explore and see what they're like. These platforms are uh, Snapchat, they do AR, 
uh, there are Unreal Engine and Unity, which are all free softwares uh, for individual use that you can do really simple models and you can even create really simple video games within um, just a couple hours by yourself looking at tutorials. Well, June, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here. It's been fun. Now it's your turn to discover the power of virtual reality by looking at photos of around the world or by creating... Oh, wait. Whoa. Or you can create your own virtual world. Why not go to the Great Wall of China? And if you do, think about how you can use virtual reality to create the best experience for someone else. And as always, have fun.